I'd like to show you something I just learned. When I originally did this test piece of track, put the screws in like such, this side, far side, close, far again. But what I'm finding out, because I had to take it apart, you can easily twist one way, but you can't twist the other way. So what I wanted to point out is that we're gonna do a close, far, but then mirror it on the other side. So this one would be far, this one would be close, and then it'll be rigid or less likely to twist either way. So happy together If I should call you up Invest a dime And you say you belong to me Lose my mind Imagine how the world could be So very fine So happy together Toss the dice, it had to be The only one for me is you And you for me, so happy together So happy together the dice it had to be the only one for me is you and you for me so happy together it's official we have a a work train we're gonna use it for weight to get us started in our first runaway train the old man almost fell over all right coming along keep going so happy together the weather so happy together we're happy together. okay so on our 20 foot radius turns which are really tight try not to do that if you're building your own railroad if possible but anyway uh we're using these screws and washers to uh fasten the ties but i just wanted to point out that we're actually using this washer here in between for the gap to measure the gap which is quite generous being that it's chilly out today we're getting close to winter so we're gonna keep it a little bit wider so when it does heat up it'll have a place to go and when it expands another little tip that we're learning earlier in the video I showed you how we placed the screws um, in this case coming around this right hand turn from this point of view if you put the screws like such as I scoot the rail over and twist a little bit, it'll actually pull with the rail so that I can I can use this screw pattern as leverage. Something to keep in mind if you're doing this. Another thing we're doing is we're cranking down. We're tightening as much as possible on the joiners just while we put in the ties and while we make the turns just to make it as rigid as possible. And then we'll come back and uh, do a half turn off or so to allow for that movement with expansion and, con and contraction. So 